Well, we can finally say it. The NBA regular season is about to get underway. And here at 2K Sports, we couldn't be happier. And tonight, it'll be Virginia going up against Cincinnati. This is Kevin Harlan, and joining me tonight, Chris Weber and Greg Anthony, with our Hall of Famer, David Aldrich, reporting from the sideline. And a chance now to look at the schedule for Cincinnati. On Sunday, and then on Thursday, Here are the starters for Cincinnati. They've got ABC. He's out there with Frazier. And it's Birch in at the center. And for the Storm, they've got Martin. Aiken is out there with Hill. And it's ABC. And it's Welsh in at the five, patrolling the paint. And the official start of the season, Chris. Uh, is there any opening day for you that sticks out in the many years you played in the NBA? One opening game, and I, and I don't remember who we played, but I know it was with Allen Iverson. And A.I. and I had meetings before the season, and we were talking about just how much we wanted to win. We knew we were coming up on the end of our careers. and Or I remember never entering a preseason with so much hope because I knew that he was in, I knew that I was in, and we knew that, that we both wanted it so bad. So I think we both scored 30 or did something crazy like that. I don't, I don't remember, but coming out uh, with him that preseason was so special because uh, I knew we were going to set the tone for how our team was going to play, and, and, and we were engaged that year. So it's Cincinnati now after the basket by the Storm. And the pass to a one do To the inside. And rebounded by McDaniels. And that is a textbook example of how to defend your rim. Well, that's why he's out there right now. In situations like this, he stands tall to prevent points. It's three on three on the fast break. Here's a one do no dice from the high post. And here's the storm. Hill passes to... Wow, oh, hammering it in! Oh, <laughs> nice pass. I mean, putting in work on the interior. Gotta love it. Frazier outside. Passes it to ABC. Just five on the clock. Puts up a three, and he's good on the three ball. First quarter of play with about a minute and a half gone. Pass to Mark. Here's Bacon. Kicks it to Hill. And the layup's good off the glass. Hill's got his second basket. Boy, he is looking confident. Love how they're using him so far. Yeah, that's because he's getting his number called early. I mean, he's doing his part to help carry the offensive load. Now here's Frazier. Pass to a one do. Let's it go with a three. And another three for Cincinnati. And he's not going to miss that sort of an opportunity from deep. The Storm have gone three of four from the field to start out the game. Outside Hill. And here in the first, approaching three minutes played. Takes the 13-footer. And again, it's Virginia. His offensive skill set is off the charts. He has more than a few ways to punish you. Here's ABC. Now the pass to a one do. It's good for his second make. He's made two or three so far. And once he got to the 10, I think he was surprised to find himself that wide open. Yeah, very little resistance. I mean, you had to bring much faster help than that. Here's Bacon. Passes it to Hill. beyond the arc. Buries it from three-point range. Hill's got nine. How about he has yet to miss 4-4 four, four to start. 122 left to play in the first. And rebounded by McDaniels. Fantastic positioning there to contest that one. 
Oh, textbook defense. I mean, it took a good angle to the shooter and bothered the release. That's just a product of good pass work. I mean, nice team basketball right there. Here's ABC. He's guarded by Hill. And good that time. Oh, even from that range, the floater is one of the toughest shots in the game. There's 49 seconds left to play in the first quarter. That's tipped. The alley-oop finish is off the mark. Cincinnati trails by four. A one do kicks to Frazier. Here's ABC. Nothing yet on the scoreboard for him. Shooting foul. As the whistle blows, he'll shoot two free throws. And with the offense getting right to the rim, at least they saved the layup. It's his first trip to the line. Makes the first. Both teams deciding to change it up. That's also good. So he hits both free throws. And so Graham will bring it up for Virginia. There's 18 seconds left in the first quarter of the game. Pass to McDaniels. Down to five on the shot clock. Good! Well, you like guys who can work that in-between area. Really keeps the defense honest. Oh, yeah. Flexibility is crucial. You have to be able to take what the defense gives you. No shortage of scoring here at the end of the first quarter. Score my head. They're up by four. And the second quarter will get underway just after this short break. Yeah, so far, halfway through the first half in this one. And uh, guys, for Virginia, what jumps out to you stat-wise? Yeah, in that first period, they look to push in transition at every opportunity. With the game being fast-paced these days, you can expect this from a lot of teams. But they did it very well. Virginia leading by four on the court right now for Cincinnati. Johnson is out there with ABC and it's Marshawn Brooks and it's ABC and it's Jefferson in at the five Bridges dishes to McDaniels shot clock at six pass to Washington Bridges with it from 17 feet out and again it's Virginia so it's Cincinnati now and for their first matchup of the regular season they're up here now going against Virginia and last year an entertaining season series between the two ended up battling to a draw and we're watching two teams looking to make that next step Greg I mean they want to break out of this middle of the pack thing you know prove they can do some damage here's Graham covered by McGetty here's McDaniels and again it's Virginia Guys uh, sometimes don't make it big when they first get on the scene. Late bloomers that have caught your eye right now in the league. Guys that have really picked up their game. Well, how about D'Angelo Russell? Mm, good and, and one, Let's yeah. talk about getting, you know, getting traded, having to move at, at a young age. That, that really could be devastating for some players. So for him to have the skill set and the mental frame of mind to fight over that, I love it. And how about Julius Randle? I mean, I didn't see it coming. I knew he was a beast. But he's a beast, 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 beast. You mean he's a beast? Yeah, yeah, something like that. 
The D just kind of stepping aside and letting him get to the rim. There's a reason, GA, the lead is what it is right now. Oh, Kevin, the coaching staff has to be upset. You can't give the opposition easy buckets like this, GA. Jefferson passing to McGinnis. And another three for Cincinnati. Yeah, these defenders had better start closing down on shooters. Graham surveying the floor. The pass to ABC. A finish. And the call on the shot that sends him to the line. He'll take his third and fourth free throw shots at the game right here. First one falls for and Cincinnati making a change here. One drops. He ties it up. For Virginia, they've gone a nice three of three to start the second. And for those of you just joining us, we're almost two and a half minutes into the second quarter. Graham kicks to Hill over Jefferson, and the shot is long. Now Cincinnati moving it up. And Briscoe gets it to go. Briscoe's got the lead up to two now for Cincinnati. Graham, the pass to Bridges. The dish to Graham. Looking to end the run. And the layup is up and in. Graham's got the game tied up here for the Storm. I like that pick play. I mean, you can see how easily it makes it for him to get to the cup. Brooks outside. A rebound by Washington. It isn't the D that causes that miss. That's just a, a loss of concentration at the time. Bridges kicks to Green. 124 left in the first half of basketball. And it's denied. Now Cincinnati moving it up. Here's Briscoe. And it's blocked. And it's out of bounds to Cincinnati. They'll retain possession. And Cincinnati making a change here. One fifteen left in the second quarter. Here's a one-do. Five points in the game. Got a piece of it. Now Bridges. Pass to Martin. He kicks to Hill. Six to shoot. And that won't go, missing the go-ahead bucket. And the rebound battle split evenly thus far. Here's ABC. It's good for his second make. He's made two or three so far. He'll take advantage of that kind of soft defense every time. Just give him a chance to attack the basket, and he will. Hill has the open look. Again, the miss by Virginia. And here's Cincinnati. They're on a 14 to 6 run. Here's ABC off the left rim and out. Martin wide open. He fires. Hits the jumper in space. Martin's got five points so far. So the clock runs out with the score tied going into halftime. And don't go away. After the break, we'll see you right back here for the start of the third quarter. And now, 
the 2K Sports Halftime Show. Ernie Johnson here with Shaq and Kenny and a favorite time of the year as we're halfway through one of the first games of this fresh NBA season. For Virginia, Kenny, what did you see from them? Well, their shooting accuracy was on point. It was good play calling, of course, by the coaching staff, but it was great execution by the team. Shaq, let's get your insight on the visiting team. Well, they're not matching up well defensively, giving up a lot of open looks, a lot of easy points. They're allowing a crazy high shooting percentage, 60% and up. Time to step it up quick. And that wraps up the halftime show. Third quarter is set to begin in just a few. Second half of basketball upon us. We may be in for an exciting finish based on how close of a game it's been so far. ABC really making a difference here. No problems fighting his way to the rim in this one. A lot of points in close. Yeah, slicing through the gaps in the defense. I mean, getting many of his buckets in the paint. And for Virginia, they're shooting an offensive execution has been beyond great there. 63% from the floor in this game. Our second half of basketball and presented by Gatorade. Let's see who's all fueled up and on the floor to start the third. On the floor for Virginia. Hill is out there with Bacon. And it's ABC. And it's Welsh in at the five spot. To the right side. For the lead, Bacon gets the bucket. Bacon's got the first points of the second half up on the board for Virginia. But the D didn't do a good enough job on him. He could be an ace when he gets a good look at three. Here's ABC. Four on the clock. And McDaniels with the block. Little over a minute gone here in the second half. Bacon the pass to Hill. Outside, Mark. Count it. Good. Now it's a five point storm lead. It's a great move, and he catches the defense completely off guard. You'd like to see a little more energy coming out of halftime with the defensive. ABC, I shot from 10 feet out. ABC has got six. For Virginia, they've gone two of three from the field to start the second half. Outside Hill. What do you think about some of the most powerful dunks, Chris? The tomahawk jam reigning supreme. Do you prefer the one-handed or the two-handed jam? Oh, man. That's you so did tough. both so well. You know what? I, I Yeah, I, I prefer a body-to-body -body dunk or you like to Remember when Rose did over Tragic back in the day? Oh, my goodness. Off the two. Or how about Jordan playing against Atlanta when he pump fakes it with one hand like he's going to shoot it, goes down the lane and dunks on yeah. Tree Rollins. Uh, just incredible. Or Blake Griffin dunking on anyone. Or Giannis dunking on anyone. Or Embiid dunking on anyone. Or how about LeBron dunking on anyone? So, me, I just want the showmanship. Doesn't matter if it's one hand, two hands, two legs, one leg, <laughs> 360, or straight body to body. Just give Get me something. Yeah. Give yeah. me yeah. something. Yeah. And that solid play in the paint continues here, guys. And first time out of the game called for Cincinnati. So both teams making some changes here. Ladies and gentlemen, once again, team dancers. Here's Maggetti. Six points for him. Kicks to Johnson. Maggetti outside. Frazier outside. Just five to shoot. Poked away, and it's out of bounds to Cincinnati. They'll retain possession. So both teams changing it up here. A 
right now we're three minutes into the third quarter of play. And you could tell he thought he had a little more space, but the defender was right there. Oh, man, did you see him close that gap? What a great job. He made the shooter feel uncomfortable. And that'll be two free throws coming up. Officials on the call with the foul. And for a player like Miles Bridges, the key, Chris, will be for him learning to play without the ball. Yeah, well, he can finish. I mean, you saw that dunk in the dunk contest last year. But, but for him, Kevin, I mean, to be at his best, he needs to learn ways to get open and get looks at the rim in a consistent manner. That free throw missing. I tell you, Bridges, you see the athleticism, the improving skill set, and the instincts are coming along. He's off on the second. Cincinnati trails by three. Oh, and there's the alley-oop. And then Johnson with the dunk. And you can see him give a little nod and then just burst to the rim for the alley-oop slam. A pair of teammates, Greg, with a terrific feel for each other. Graham, the pass to Washington. Here's Chile. A floater, and it goes down two points. Chile's got his second basket of the game. For Cincinnati, they've gone three of six in the third quarter, 50% from the field. Pass to a one do. 17 foot shot on the way. Again, Cincinnati scores. Yeah, yeah, and that's what I'm talking about. Right? I mean, the D is worrying too much about the other four guys. I mean, they can't give him open jump. Graham, the pass to Washington. Pass to Chile. Lock at six. Got a hand on it. Brooks outside. For the lead, it's deflected. And the impact Bridges makes on the defensive end, showing he's not to be messed with. Five-second differential between the shot clock and the game clock. Oh, and they get in the way of the alley-oop. Not to be. Good play defensively. Here's a one-do. Seven points in the game. From deep three-point range, no good on the last second attempt there. We're at the end of the third, and we've still got a close one. Storm lead by one. And time to step aside quickly, but we'll be back in no time with the start of the fourth quarter. Back up, back up, back up, back up. And a moment now as we take a look at our State Farm assists of the game. And he sliced the D wide open with this feed. They had no chance to prevent that basket. <laughs> no, that's quick decision making. You see a guy open, you can't hesitate. That, that, that's an outstanding play right there. Well, what a terrific game it's been so far with this fourth quarter sure to bring more pressure-packed basketball. On the court right now for Cincinnati. They've got ABC, and it's a one-do in at the small forward. ABC passes to a one-do. Six on the shot clock. To take the lead, and he connects with the jumper. And Cincinnati leads by one. And that's right in his wheelhouse, looking to make an impact when it counts. Well, Greg, this is why they go to him in these spots. I mean, they trust his judgment and ability to score down the stretch. Hill looking around. Martin from outside. Good, and it's Hill picking up the assist. Hill's got his fifth assist in this one. Well, Cincinnati shooting with confidence 50% from the field so far. 
Here's a one do. And contact on the shot, so he'll be shooting free throws here. First free throw is good. Some changes for Virginia. Welsh is checked in, and it's McDaniels in for Martin. And Cincinnati making a change here as well. Frazier's checked in. He's perfect from the line this time. Fourth quarter just getting started. One minute in the books. Knocked away. Here's ABC. He's guarded by Hill. And he hits it and gets hacked on the play. A three-point possibility if he can convert the free throw. They're finding lanes to the hoop now with consistency. Five buckets in a row from the paint. One shot. Virginia trails by three. And the foul called on ABC. That is his first foul of the game. So the wing on the left. Bridges, no one around him. Good, the assist goes to Hill. You love how each side has risen to the challenge throughout this one. Yeah, it seems like whenever one team scores, the other comes right back with a bucket of its own. Here's a one do. Up again, controls the rebound and puts it back up and in. They are just killing them on the interior. Hill passes to McDaniels. Second minute off the clock now in the fourth. And the basket by Hill. Yeah, nothing too fancy. Just getting the job done when they need to make every possession count. Cincinnati calls timeout. Got an update here, so let's check in with David Aldridge reporting from the sideline. Well, during the break, I heard what Cincinnati's head coach was telling his team. He said, this is what we play for, fellas. Let's knock them on their heels right out of the timeout. Show them how much you want it. Go get it. He really is fired up about this game. His energy level has never dropped in this game. I mean, he's working his tail off, and the D is struggling to keep up. And he's going up for the alley-oop. An emphatic alley-oop jam. And how about the incredible timing on that alley-oop? He absolutely hammered it down. Just over two and a half minutes played now here in the final quarter of regulation. Here's Birch. Here's Frazier. And the three ball is good. And Cincinnati leads by four. I mean, like the kick out there, recognizing there's more room outside than inside. Timeout called Virginia. Every timeout, a chance to review the lineups, matchups, or call a play. You know, that's what coaches are paid to do, right? I mean, curious to see what they go with here. And with his game closing in on the final buzzer, let's take a look at our Jordan player of the game. And in terms of his shooting, this has been one of the more accurate performances you'll ever see. I mean, he's been in constant motion, creating a lot of good looks for himself. But, but still, even when you're wide open, you expect to miss some of the time. And that has not been the case here tonight. This guy has made everything. Fouled in the act of shooting. Gets the bucket anyway, so a three-point play chance for him. Yeah, how about that one? Able to maintain control and finish the play. Martin's checked in for Bridges. A 
and you really can't say enough about his composure in the big moments, as cool as they come. Here's ABC. A bit under three and a half minutes have passed here in the fourth. Just the kind of play they need in a game this close. You know, that's the kind of aggression they want from their floor leader. Yeah, Kevin, this is why they go to him when the game is tight. He ups his intensity level. Oh, just solid on the one-handed slam. And guys, when it's a tight ball game like this, he's the guy they want with the ball. With some arc, ABC gives up a lot of size to most other power fours, but not too many of them can fly like he can. Outside Hill. Here's McDaniels. Nice D from Frazier. And not allowing the shooter even an inch of breathing room on that one. Yeah, Greg, that's just great defense. Forcing this man into a difficult attempt. And the pass there floated it up to the precise spot it needed to be. And no messing around on the finish. He powers it through. Here's McDaniels. High post try. They get the rebound. Here's Welsh. Two free throws coming up, and they call the shooting foul. Clearly a foul. That's his first personal foul. Shooting for Virginia. Thomas Welsh. Taking two shots. Two shots. First free throw is good, and that shrinks the margin to just four. And so he hits both. And that makes it a one-possession game, guys. Got to be the biggest free throws of the game thus far. They'll be trying to take as much time off the clock as they can. Exactly. Expect to see longer possessions from this point on. Welsh with the rebound. Guys, a critical time for them in this ballgame. you got to play mistake-free. Outside Hill. There's the lob to the hoop. Yes! Oh, Kevin, get a load of that one. Take that play and put it in the alley-oop textbook, boys. Oh, perfectly done. You're right. He put it on a platter for him. And they commit an intentional foul. We'll see another one of those so they can get into the penalty. Yeah, you, you can't let him hold the ball and just milk those last seconds away. And they go to the intentional foul. Take a break. Take a break. Two shots. Gets the first, and that will put them up by two. And he hits both free throws here. So now it's a three-point game. Forget about the pressure. He was perfect. No choice but to look for the three. Timeout called Virginia. They're trailing by three. 17 seconds left in the fourth. Seventeen seconds left in the fourth quarter. Fires from 18. Good! And that shot brings them to within just one. Oh, you just love seeing a player with absolutely no fear. Yeah, he approached that one with total confidence. He has what it takes to come through in the clutch. Shoot two. Good on the first, and that will put them up by two. So he gets them both, and it's a three-point game. 
11 seconds left to play in the final quarter. To tie it up. Misses the three. And they foul intentionally. That's what they have to do at this point. the first one and that gives them a four point cushion. And so he drops them both. It's a five point game. Well, you got to just have a sense of calm at the line. He has it here. And he just put the game to bed. So we see Cincinnati get the win here. This was a hard fought well earned victory for him Greg. They really had to work for this win. Yeah, that's a good point. I mean, well, weaker teams might have buckled at the end with the crowd amped up, everyone in the building kind of rooting against you, but they stood tall and, and pulled it out. Well said. And that about does it for the first game of the new NBA season. For Greg Anthony, Chris Weber, and David Aldridge, this is Kevin Harlan thanking you for watching the NBA presented by 2K Sports. We'll see you next time.